Hello friends, thank you for joining Dr. Denise J. Williams and this is Next Level Empowerment. I am so excited to talk to you guys today because we're going to talk about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming up the second Sunday in May every single year and you know what? I realized I didn't know a lot of important facts about Mother's Day. So I looked it up. Thank you Google. Mother's Day was created by a woman named Anna Jarvis and Anna Jarvis wanted to honor her mom who was very community service oriented and and an activist. So in 1907, when she died, her daughter, Anna Jarvis, campaigned to make Mother's Day a national holiday. Isn't that amazing? And it wasn't just for mother. It was for anyone who is a mother figure to someone, which I thought was pretty cool because we have a lot of moms that are in blended families, moms that adopt, moms that are stepmoms, moms that are bonus moms, moms that are mothering children that are not even their biological children that they have no connection to. So I think that is so awesome. And Mother's Day was also known as Mothering Day, Mothering Day, which I thought was pretty cool too. It's mothering because mothers do what? We nurture, we nurture, we protect, we make sure everybody's okay. So I thought that was pretty cool too. But here is the caveat that most people probably don't know that Anna Jarvis, who actually campaigned for Mother's Day to become a holiday in 1948, right before her death, guess what she did, guys? She campaigned to make it an unholiday. She campaigned against it. She wanted to abolish Mother's Day simply because she felt that it became too commercial, commercial, commercialized. Am I trying to say that right? In other words, she didn't want it to be about a day of spending money and cards and and focusing on the material things. She wanted it to focus on the relationship between mothers and children. And that's not what happened. So take that for what it's worth, but that's what happened with Mother's Day. That's just a little bit of background. So I did look up some other good stuff about Mother's Day. And I looked up some of the things that moms deem important because every Mother's Day, what happened? You feel like mom has everything and what can I give her? So I looked up some of the top six things that moms usually want for Mother's Day. At the top of my list is T-I-M-E time. Most moms want to spend time with their children and not just on Mother's Day, but they would like to them to come over and pop by during the year. 60% percent of moms want to spend time with their children on Mother's Day. That's according to a website called scriptsnews.com. They said in their poll that 60% of moms want to spend time with you. And you know what's the cool thing about time? It's free. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to try to impress mom. She just wants to see your face in the place every now and then. And I think this is great because we want to nurture relationships. And that's what Mother's Day is about. It's about nurturing the relationship between you and your mom mom. Number two things that mom want more than anything else on Mother's Day, she wants regular communication with her children. So you could call, you could text, you could do a video call, you could do FaceTime, whatever it is, but she likes it when you just keep in touch. You know, what's a fun thing is that sometimes you could just go out and get a thinking of you card and drop it in the mail because most moms, at least the moms of my generation, they value card. They love getting cards in the mail. Love getting cards. Love it. Love it. Love it. Can't do without it. They love getting cards cards in the mail. I think that is so cool. I think it's cool to get cards in the mail. I really, really do. Flowers, number three, flowers or a personal gift. Now, personal gift is different for everyone as we know, but the good thing about a personal gift is that it's tailored to your mom. For example, I love photography. So anything related to photography, I would love it. And it doesn't have to be anything expensive. Go out and buy me a a strap, a new strap for my camera. What is that? Six, seven bucks, maybe 12 bucks tops. So find out that thing that she's interested interested in? Does she like gardening? Maybe gardening tools would be great. Does she like cooking and baking? Maybe a new apron would be nice. Things that do not have to cost a whole lot of money. Or what you could do is go join her in the kitchen and bake with her. So that takes care of the time that takes care of spending time with her and giving her a present that she needs that's personalized to her. The next thing, number four that I found out mother's love for Mother's Day. Listen to this. Go to church with her. Go to church with her. You know what I love about moms? Moms love to show off their kids. We love to show off the kids. You like to take pictures of the kids. You want everybody to be excited about your child. So you, what do we do? You pull out pictures of the kids. You pull out pictures of the grandkids.
kids. You talk about all the good, cool things that they're doing in life because they are proud of their children. Go to church with mom. She would love that. And again, cost effective. Doesn't have to cost you a whole lot of money. The next thing is, and this is something for you as well as for mom, accomplish your goals. Nothing makes your mom happier than watching you reach your goal. Are you in school? Are you studying for a degree? Are you starting a business? Those are the things that mom wants to hear about because it makes her heart glad to know that you are accomplishing the goals that you set out to do. Because mom loves feeling a part of that journey with you. She was part of your journey from birth to where you are now, the successful person that you are now. Your mom is excited to know that she had a hand in that, right? That's the cool thing about number five, accomplish your goals. That will make mom proud. That would make mom happy. That would make mom really beam and she'll have something to brag about to her friends, right? Finish her to-do list. This is number six. Finish her to-do list. Go over to mom's house. Find out what she's working on. Is, is she a DIY mom? Does she like home projects? Get that done. Maybe, you know, if you're a guy, go home and mow the lawn for mom or or fix something that needs that's broken around the house. There's always something around the house that needs to be addressed. Go ahead and address that for her, okay? And, 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 and for the ladies, if you don't know how to fix it, call a handyman. Treat her to a handyman that will fix it for her, right? That would be that would be great. She would love that. Did you know that more calls are made on Mother's Day than any other day of the year? Any other day of the year, more calls are made on Mother's Day. Now you would, uh, now my holiday is Christmas. So I always thought it was Christmas or Thanksgiving, something like that, or even Valentine's Day. But in the United States, more calls are made on Mother's Day than any other day of the year. And it's the third highest selling holiday for plants and flowers. Mom loves flowers. We love flowers and plants. Love them, love them, love them, love them. Even if you have to go to the supermarket and get the little six, dollar bunch. The fact that you're bringing mom flowers, trust me, because they're coming from you, she's going to more than appreciate that, right? And also Mother's Day, and this is why I don't advocate for this one. Mother's Day is the busiest day of the year for restaurant, but I would not do a restaurant if I could, because they're often crowded. They're often packed. They're often there. It's not a personal thing because you can't really have conversations because there's so many people, there's so much activity going on with the servers and the, the children that may be in the restaurant. And sometimes, I think it's important to wind down, you know, wind down, do something creative with mom. That's more of a personalized thing, right? So we covered some things that we could do for mom on her special day. Some of them you could spend money, some of them are without spending money, but however you choose to celebrate mom day, mother's day, mothering day, as they used to call it back in 1907, when Anna Jarvis advocated for mother's day, however you learn choose to spend it. I am sure mom is going to appreciate that to the fullest and there's no one more important than mom right so we just wanted to give a shout out to moms on today and let them know that they are loved they are appreciated even when we forget to say it even when we forget the call even we when we don't come by as often because life is lifing and we are busy people and we have children and families and husbands and relationships of our own and then there's work and then there's there's so much going on that one of the things that I love about Mother's Day is that it helps us to focus on being intentional and I think in our society, we're losing track of that. We're losing track of being intentional in our relationships and taking that time to give ourselves a breather and go, oh my God, when's the last time I sat and talked with mom? When's the last time I spent time with the kids? And these personal relationships, we need to nurture because they are super, super important. When you are a mom or a grandmom, okay, you want to remember the time spent with your loved ones. You're not going to remember the flowers so much. You're not going to remember the gifts so much. You're not going to remember the restaurants you ate at, but what you will remember is what mom meant to you. So again, this is Dr. Denise J. Williams of Next Level Empowerment. Thank you for joining me today. To find out more about who I am and what I do, you can visit www.thebrokenvesselspeaks.com. And I hope to be able to get in front of you guys again soon. Have a good day and a happy Mother's Day.